Bring your simple ass, Trey. Uh, four, three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? What's up, my name, Bays? Every time I come to you guys for a Simple Talk Saturday, Wind Down Wednesday, Open Diaries, remind you, go check those videos out. I miss you guys. Today it is, of course, Simple Talk Saturday. I post it on my social media, imperfectly underscore Marie on Instagram and Nay Jones on Facebook. And I ask you guys, what some topics, good topics, that you guys want to talk about. Thank you guys for the ones that did respond back to my story. And I got a few answers. Some of them it had a lot to deal with mental health. I just had this thing that came up in mind that I got from The Breakfast Club. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. I watched that often. You guys should check that out. I'm sure everybody know about The Breakfast Club. Um, yeah, that's what our topic is going to be about today. Um, mental health. Shirt, by the way. Spray love, show love. And also, the back. Stop playing with it. <laughs> if you guys would like to purchase this shirt, just send me a DM on my Instagram or my Facebook. Let me know the size. And I also have um, an XLSL. Y'all know, spray love, show love shirt as well. You know, we can get it going. I'll send it to you. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, we go from there. What are you guys doing? Let's just start off with that before I get into the topic. Um, how's everybody uh, uh, doing these last few months? Y'all know I always ask y'all that. It has been a lot that's uh, that has been going on. So just checking in on my neighbors, family, friends, associates, co-workers, chilling. You know, all y'all. Just to see how everybody is doing. So, comment down below some uh, some yellow hearts. Some yellow hearts. And um, then let me know that y'all are doing fine. So, to get in today's topic, I was watching uh, The Breakfast Club, right? I always watch The Breakfast Club. But this particular episode, of course, Angelie, Angelie Charlemagne the God, and um, DJ Envy. Of course, those are the hosts in the show for the people that don't know. They were talking about mental health and relationships and trauma and women and men going through things as far as growing up and someone raising, Taraji P. Henson raising her son and losing uh, her dad. Because you are such an advocate for it. Like, what got you into that space and said, I need to help more? Well, I mean, it was personal for me. It was my personal journey searching for therapy for my son and for myself, for of our own past traumas and watching him try to maneuver through life becoming a young black man without male figures around because his father was murdered tragically um, when he was young. And then two years later, my father died. So mm. those are all his males that he looked up to gone, right. vanished, just done, dead. And so that's trauma for a young boy, a young man. So so boom, you had that situation from Taraji P. Henson. And then you had a situation with the other guest, the guy. Jay is a Thank former professional football player. He's an author, he's a speaker, marriage counselor, yeah. family therapy associate. Um, in this field, even when I came through grad school, I was the only black that graduated. And then I was the only black male. And so as Taraji said, there's not a lot of black males or just even blacks in general in the mental health field that are mm -hmm. even going through the process. And so for me, to partner up with Taraji and his foundation. It's, it's a personal thing for me. After football came to an end for me, I'm a two-time survivor of suicide attempts. And so wow. um, I dealt a lot with depression. Um, I'm the son of a pastor. So my family was, you know, let's pray about it. Let's pray about it. And so for me, I had to really find my own space and really find my own journey because while prayer works, but I do think that there is a capacity where we need to visit the mental capacity of it. Because the spirituality is so close to the mental health department because you can't get your spirit right until you get your mind right. And so for me, um, therapy helped me to find out the underlying issues to my depression was the trauma that I went through. And, and then you have... Um... And then once I started to look at what love really is, like the definition of love for me, and love is the desire to understand, mm -hmm. right? And so that's going back to some Buddhist principles. And um, if you are going in 
into your conversations, into your Sorry. questioning with the desire to understand, then I think you're, you are creating a space. Who is, has a lot going on. You guys should check her out. She is a therapist, if I'm not mistaken as well. And um, she talk about different things and, you know, things like that. And I think she has a book out as well. So check that out. So all of those has, have individual stories or individual stories that they brought to light in this whole conversation we're talking about is dealing with trauma and past experiences and helping their community. And y'all heard of just the gist of what I said about that. So what I want to bring to you guys is uh, Charlemagne the God. He said a something that just stuck with me when I was watching the interview, right? After hearing everything that they were saying, this is something that Everything stuck that I was taught when I was young, like especially from my fathers and my uncles, like only the strong survive. Mm -hmm. So if I wasn't strong, I wasn't going to survive. And that's why we wear that for so long. And then you get to a yeah. certain age and you realize, man, don't none of that serve me no more. If, if mm -hmm. I, I have to not be strong in order to survive. Mm -hmm. I yeah, have to admit but that this I'm weak. Okay, so your older sibling, um, you know, your older cousin, whoever you was around that was older than you, older than you that you know that that helped you along the way in life may have told you something such as, "Only the strong survive." You know, that was a quote growing up that maybe I'm sure some of you guys heard, right? And I know I have. Um, so that puts in your mind, you know. As the years go by, well, dang. And this is all everything Charlemagne brought to light as well. So I'm just saying it, speaking it uh, as well. But this is everything that he's saying. And it kind of got me thinking. So I want you guys to think about this as well. Um, to have a different, of course, perspective um, on this. But anyway, he goes to say, you know, after the years go on, as you get older, you start to think. So if I wasn't strong, I wasn't going to survive, you know. And we're talking about mental health here, so... Then you start to think like, okay, well, I have to be tough, you know. Um, I can't let stuff get to me. And, you know, nothing's wrong with that, so don't get me wrong. But it's just another perspective once again. Um, oh, man, I have to be tough. You know, don't show emotions. Uh, just get through what you're going through and, and, and don't express how you feel. Just deal with it. You know what I mean? This is what I'm getting from what Charlemagne, the God, expressed, right? So then you get to a certain age and say now, you know, you're... For instance, I'm using me. I'm, I'm, I'm 28 now. Birthday, 10, 29, Scorpio. Woo -woo. You get to this age now. Let's say 28 and above, maybe, or whatever age you're in, when you get to a state where you start to see things differently and, you know, things like that. You get to a certain age, you realize, like, man, that statement, only the strong survive. Well, that doesn't serve me any, you know, doesn't serve me any purpose no more. You feel like, um, well, maybe it took me not to be strong to survive. You know, have you ever thought about that in, in, in that way? That's, and, and when he said that, I thought about that, and that's how I was like, wow, well, he's right. It took me to be vulnerable, you know what I mean? So that leads me to... Strength is in the vulnerability, yeah. not this. It's yeah. in the vulnerability. That's where your strength lies. You got to be vulnerable. Your, your strength is in your vulnerability. With that backstory being said, you guys... My question to you guys is, um, do you feel like it's strength? You can find strength in, in, in being vulnerable, you know. Vulnerable if you're down. You know, then you start to find your strength. Because in that space, that's the only way to heal. Let me know. Comment down below. This is something that I wanted to bring to light. I will use myself as an example. I always do. Uh, Y'all know that. Um... I think it does. I would say I my answer would be yes. I found strength or strength does come when being vulnerable. I found that being at my lowest in life or in general or anything you're going through, being at my lowest, I found that uh, what was my weakness. And in that, I found strength to heal. Or I can just say that for me, like being down. Here's the points where I need to be stronger in for myself to 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 go forward. Um, 
I hope you guys understand. I, I really want to hear what you guys got to say. And tell me some stories, you know. Tell me, like, um, something you were, you went through, you know. I ain't got to tell you your business, but just, look, you know, just something. Comment down below and tell me something something you went through and, and you realize. If you agree, if, if your answer is yes or no, uh, elaborate a little bit. Let me know why you would say that. Let me know your why. I'll just say that. And um, inbox me, you know, imperfectly underscore Marie, Nay Jones. Let's get this thing going. Let's get Simple Talk Saturdays back to these deep questions that you guys like. Let's get to healing and understanding. You know, I feel like sometimes uh, in our community, black community especially, um, we, everyone has to have or was taught to have this this tough persona, this you know, this tough. I'm not saying be weak or nothing like that, but this tough, like, uh, you know, mindset. Don't show your emotion. I'm also bringing awareness to, to that. Like, you know, it's okay to express how you feel. Obviously not to just any and everybody. No, I'm not saying that. But, you know, everybody go through stuff. It's just it's things that no one talk about. So let's talk about these things. Let's, you know, bring light to that and just keep this Simple Talk Saturday thing going. I hope you guys understand. Um, my perspective or my point in making this interview from the breakfast club come to life. Agree with the statement, vulnerable. I think you can find strength. Yes. Next, kick off next Simple Talk Saturdays with uh, you guys' responses and why. And then we'll start our next subject. Y'all know how it go. <laughs> We're back in this thing. It's been a minute. I miss you guys. <sighs> Y'all know what it is. <sighs> Spread love, show love, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.